What's happening, La Familia? What the business is? How y'all doing today? What y'all got going, family? This is just a few of the people, you know, that tapped in with the IG family. You know, I appreciate all y'all tapping in. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna scream them out today. I'm just gonna say what I gotta say and we're gonna get to the video. Now, make sure you wipe your feet as you come in the door. You know, like the video, subscribe, turn post notifications on. Y'all see we grinding right now. We doing our thing and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? We're doing it our own way. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't gonna mirror or mimic nobody else. We're gonna do our own move, go with our own move. And uh, yeah, do what we do. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you tapped in with the fam. You can't be a hater, a sucker, and a buster all your life. Show some love eventually. And maybe you'll get that kick right back out to you. I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. But with that being said, let's get to it. First and foremost, we got that man, Stain Gang Casino, or Big Stain. Y'all know Lil CJ Casino, Big Brother, as he has a response for his little bro, where he said, Roach dudes, don't let us find out who did that crumb stuff on my kids. You you basically DOA. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you X'd out. You finna put them X's over your eyes. You're gonna, yeah, yeah, you already know what that is, man. They're gonna drop the cartoon headstone right behind you after he X you off. Then we got Gang 51 June. As you know, he made a post on Instagram where he talked about cutting his hair off. Got a huge reaction from all his fans. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna show that video to y'all first. It's the last time y'all gonna see this, man. I'm gonna cut my shit off, man. But to no one's surprise, really, because I really didn't believe him from the gate. He actually didn't cut the dreads off. He came back with this response. I did not cut my hair, man. Y'all keep asking if I cut it, man. I did not. As y'all can see, he didn't cut it. Then he goes on to say, my best music unreleased. I can't wait for y'all to hear it. You know, with the CD emoji and the burning heart. But I just want to briefly touch on the whole pandemic and the capidemic of people talking about cutting their dreads and actually cutting their dreads because we've been seeing that a lot here lately and i just want to say this one thing man y'all gotta understand the importance of the dreadlocks and what they mean and if you don't understand the importance of a dreadlock and what it means you probably shouldn't get them from the gate it's not just a regular hairstyle it has a very deep deep rooted meaning behind it and if you don't understand it don't just play around with it man because it ain't just something you wake up one day and be like i'm gonna cut it off you know it's a journey it's a journey do your research on it before you get them but let's go ahead and move on family next up we got to shoot down to florida in that peninsula out there in that water and uh tap in with a rapper that goes by the name of slack zai and if you haven't heard of him he's actually one of my favorite up and coming artists he is signed to 100K, and uh, he came out with something on Instagram, man. But before we get into it, I want to say, man, go tap in with this man and show him some love, man, because his music is definitely talented. He definitely is an upper echelon type artist, and y'all going to love his music. I promise y'all. But let's go ahead and see what Slash Zai had to say, because he said some, man, some heartfelt things on Instagram. I don't look like what I've been through the last four months. Been rough on a dude. That's why I haven't been active on social media as I should have been. I've been shot, car wreck, lost my brother, jail, large amount of money have been stolen from me on some fraud stuff. I just want to get baptized. I'm walking with the deceiver right now uh, and it ain't safe. But never will I uh, give up thousands of fans and plenty of loved ones depending on a young dude. I'm going to get it right. Always do. And I apologize to my family and friends about the jail situation. Y'all know I'm forever stand on 10 and hold myself accountable when I'm wrong. That's all the way 100, man. Man, I, I actually love this caption, man. That's all the way 100, man. And y'all seen the picture that he posted. It looked like a mug shot or whatever, man. But you, as you can see, man, Slazzy been going through a lot. You know what I'm saying? He been going through a lot, man, you know. 
in the last four months. And he's a young dude, man. Early 20s, man. So this is a lot of weight on his shoulders. Probably the darkest times of his life right now, but it's in front of the camera. And I don't think we think about that as supporters and fans enough that these kids are young and they're going through the toughest times of their life and it's exposed out into the media. Everything they do, that they do becomes a hot topic and everybody wants to talk about it. But they're just experiencing life and their life experiences are a lot different because everybody gets to pick and dissect them and, you know, talk down on these people. And every uh, mistake they make is a dire one. Every mistake they make vibrates and hits every corner of the earth, man. So I mean, man, man, hey, man, you know, hearts go out to this man, man. And y'all go tap in with his music, man. Keep your head up, youngin. But at the end of the day, man, you know, he rocks with YNW and them. You know, and YNW Melly shared the post and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sure, man, you know, with YNW Melly going through everything he went through, it's a it's a good possibility YNW Melly is giving him advice on how to move and stay away from, you know, the faults that he was involved in, helping him be a lot more strategic. Um, y'all know how that goes, man. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts on that down in the comment section. And with that being said, let's go ahead and move on. Next up, we got that man bbg blockhead and he went ahead and doubled down on his statements as he says just because they don't believe the truth don't mean it's a lie and in my opinion that was a reference to what he said all the stuff he's been saying for the past few weeks about you know fredo bang and what happened you know when he was locked up as well as tech and fl dussa you know what i'm saying i even think you know that was a reference to the YB situation, even though he been, you know, supporting YB on Instagram, sharing all his music and also said that, you know, he never talked ill about Youngin. You know, he got much love for the Youngin and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? But either way, man, it just is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, something different, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. Now, if that that's if that's that man's truth, then we're going to let him speak it at the end of the day. You know, we don't have nothing to do with either situation or either side. So we can't really say who lying and who not lying on either side. You feel me? You know, only thing we can do is have a discussion and debate as to whom seems much more believable. But me personally, I'm just presenting y'all what was said and uh, we'll talk about it. But let's go ahead and move on. Next up, we got, you know, NBA side, you know, they partner, you know, that man share with Kess, as he says. We're going to thug him, catch him, and get full of them drugs. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag, it's my birthday. You know, it's his birthday, so we had to send a little shiggity and whatnot. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. And then we got that man's, you know, Red Bando, our Bando, you know. And uh, this is the one that was arguing with Smooth RB, as well as the one, you know, that was fighting with Lil Yoshi. You know what I'm saying? When he was in that Paris, they both got that right up and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? As he shows us who his real affiliation is truly with. He takes a picture with all the wild sides and the BBGs. You know, at first, y'all remember him saying, you know, he not really too much associated or affiliated with anybody. You know, he only rocking with this bando gang thing. But now he's showing y'all, you know, his affiliation is truly with, you know, wild side and BBG. And that's his side. And that's who he going to rock with. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, wild side been having some little stuff coming out. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the one in particular that really came out with something is one feezy one feezy came out with his real feelings towards tbg you know address that whole situation and whatnot you know and we're gonna go ahead and talk about it but first i'm gonna show y'all the clips of what he had to say and then y'all let me know what y'all think about it down in the comment section family but let's get to it believe that As y'all can see, already out the gate, when Feezy is sending shiggities and letting it be known. Let's see what else he had to say. Okay, he said BBG official. Y'all can see he's starting to turn up. Now I want y'all to listen very closely. I played it twice so y'all can really hear it. Running with a pack of rats. Yo, how y'all say y'all eat 
He said FTBG. I ain't feeling that. How y'all call yourself apes, but y'all running with a pack of rats? Disrespectful. Man, that was disrespectful. You can hear the hostility in his voice. But let's see what else he had to say. Dog, he tuna fit. Sitting down when he pit. Dog, he tuna fit. Sitting down when he pit. Hey, Joe say he want him blitz. Big D say he want the click. D say he want his head. Now it's not clear as to who he means by Big Dog because he could be talking about Fredo because Fredo is the one that brought him into the, you know, the limelight or he could be talking about Cleasy. But either one, he said that they sit down whenever they take a pee, you know, pretty much he called him a female dog, which is highly disrespectful. And then uh, he said, baby Joe, want him blitzed. And D, want him, he want the whole clip. Now, it ain't for sure as to which D he could be talking about, but most likely BBG D. You know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and see what else he had to say. He said, Ken said he want his head. SB said, F them dudes. Youngin say it's up my dude and he said anywhere I catch him I'm a, uh, I'm a stretch him basically you know anywhere I catch him that's on blood you know pretty much that's what he said that's the basis of what he said which was highly disrespectful let it be known what we already knew you know what I'm saying allegedly let me throw that in there you know this is all just entertainment purposes they all acting just rapping and doing what they do you know so we don't need no law enforcement investigating anything like this man it's just all a acting game but at the end of the day, man, they do got to chill out on the music like this, though, man. But let's hear it one more time, man, just so y'all can clarify a little bit and understand what I'm trying to tell y'all. Yeah, so as y'all can see, when Feezy letting it be known, you know, his true feelings on the situation is really up there. And as we remember, you know, he was saying nobody can touch Lil Yoshi, you know, because of who his peoples was. But now he letting it be known, you know, everybody is expendable on that side and he ain't rocking with nothing. You know, it's really officially up there. So uh, what do y'all think about that situation? And let me know down in the comment section how y'all feel. Drop that like too, man, because y'all know we're going to come with that pressure heat that ain't nobody talking about. Then next up, we got that man, Boosie Boy B. As Boosie Boy B decides to say, you know, come my way. I'm trying to F with something as well. You know, sending a uh, shiggity at the opposition telling him, you know, come around this way, man, so I can give y'all y'all issue and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So what y'all think about Boosie Boy B coming out, you know, popping out, sending his shiggities once again like he always does. But let's go ahead and move on. Then we got T.I. Son King getting on Tootie's uh, story saying F Tootie. You know what I'm saying? Captioning it, that and whatnot. As well as Tootie saying send him beats ASAP. You know what I'm saying? You see Tootie been focused, pressured on his music and doing what he's supposed to be doing, trying to grow as far as that aspect. And then also says that he's going to take, you know, a second off the internet, you know, for a little while. And that he loves his fans, man, which is 100, man. You know, the internet ain't doing nobody no good. But I wanted to slightly touch on the fake, you know, beef situation between Tootie and King. You know, I think that was just a, a way to bolster their music. A lot of big, huge channels like Hip Hop Central, you know, and the rest of the channels was reporting on the beef situation between Tootie and King. And uh, that was just all fabricated, a way for them, you know, to garner some attention. And in my opinion, you know, that was a lame move from Tootie part. I wonder who really came up with that idea to do that, man. Really didn't make too much of no sense. But let's go ahead and move on. And next up, we got that man, you know, Ben 10. As Ben 10 been on his Instagram, pretty much, you know, uh, showing off his new YouTube page. You know what I'm saying? First, you know, he, when he first showed it, you know, didn't have many subscribers. Already hit over 1,000 subscribers in a matter of hours. As well as, you know, going ahead and exposing Stunner for Vegas, you know, for uh, cheating on his stories and whatnot. But pretty much, man, on his YouTube channel, man, he dropped a video, you know, uh, 
with Who Gang D, where he threw water on him, as well as, you know, exposing the fact that he has already did a video with Corey from Carmen and Corey, which is a huge YouTuber, one of the biggest YouTubers on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man, this man already on it, pretty much. But I'm going to show y'all the video from D and the reaction for that. <laughs> no, coach! <laughs> no, coach! And this is pretty much, you know, just a video playing in the background of what happened and how he got wet. That was Who Gang D's uh, reaction to the situation. Not really nothing too sour, just saying no. I couldn't play the video because his copyrighted music in the background. But in my opinion, you know, this is a, this kind of seemed like a, a, a movement of Ben 10 flexing his muscle and showing like, y'all my little dogs, I could do whatever to y'all and y'all ain't gonna do nothing back. You know what I'm saying? Kind of seemed like a little bully situation in my opinion. Y'all can go check out the video on his stuff. You seen him just throw the water on him. He really ain't do too much. The other one uh, hid behind the door right there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, kind of seemed like a little bit of a bullying situation. I don't know. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts on that. Then he goes on to say, uh, I'm always uh, stopping my blessings because I feel like blood is more important. You know what I'm saying? Saying, you know, stepping is more important pretty much. You know, uh, just wilding and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Need to chill out, Ben 10, you know. Pay attention to your blessings more. All that, all the extras ain't important, man. Focus on what's important, which is blessings, which is blessing others. But we do got another video, and this is a video about fans, you know, uh, pretty much clowning when Baby Joe got hit up and was in the hospital and whatnot. You know, as the uh, fan captioned it, you know, you should have listened to Fred O'Bang. But speaking of Fred O'Bang, he also shows off his 1 million subscriber plaque once again. You know, he excited about that, but that should have been long overdue. That's long overdue at this point, man. He should have been there. You know, he should have been at 1 million subscribers. Y'all talk about somebody being blackballed. It's really Fred O'Bang who's blackballed out of the game. He's been dropping hit after hit, and they are not getting appreciated like they should be. You know what I'm saying? But on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, chop it up about this for a second, man. I appreciate uh, y'all for the uh, 7,000, not 1,000. Subscribers, man, you know, I couldn't have did it without y'all, man. Let's keep growing every day. You know, I love y'all family and everything that y'all do for me, man. Y'all know, like I said, man, it don't go under the radar. It's always appreciated. 7K today, but 10K is on the way and 100K in a year. Let's see if we can do that. That'd be a goal right there, man. If we did 100K in a world, I mean, in a year, we gonna shut the whole YouTube down, man. But I did love to see, man, hopping on my uh, studio and seeing this uh, new achievement unlock the 7K achievement, man. That, that, was, that was right there, highly appreciated, you know. So family, let's keep going up. Let's keep going with our move and doing what we do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of new stuff will be introduced to the channel. Like I told y'all, I've been grinding and working hard so I can drop it on y'all. You know, daily uploads, we back on that, man. You know, they shut us down for a week. So the views been down on the channel, man. We got to get those back up by likes. They not putting out the notification. And I did notice that they unsubscribed a lot of people, man. They have been doing that. You know what I'm saying? So I really do need y'all to share the videos if y'all can, man. We got to push this algorithm in any way that we can. Because, uh... It seems like, you know, just posting ain't really going to do that for us. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, uh, I, I just don't, man, I just don't get how that strike set us back, man. But we're going to keep grinding and doing our part, man. That's all we can do to make things function and run like they supposed to. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts on all these situations, especially the one Feezy situation. And uh, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell icon. Turn them post notifications on. Comment share the video and with that being said i'm out Believe it up. Believe it up.